In this video I will show you how I project the frets onto the fretboard. I start by making an offset plane 100 millimeters above the normal offset plane and then I will import a DXF. This DXF is downloaded from an online fretboard generator and I select a plane to uh, load it into and there you go, so there it is. Um, now we need to correct the sketch, so as you can see it's uh, upside down and uh, not in the correct order yet. So um, I'm going to delete the coincident point, if I don't do that then I cannot rotate the whole sketch. Uh, and I'm going to delete all these dots because I don't like them. Uh, maybe later on I will make another shape of it. <coughs> so now this is done I can safely remove the first line in the sketch because this is the start of the top nut I don't need it um, select all the lines rotate it 180 degrees and move it a bit to the right so I can now safely move everything to the start of the fretboard. I do that with a point to point uh, movement. I'll select my first point and then the second point which also lowers the sketch. Uh, so I need to move it up again otherwise it will be flat on the surface of the fretboard and I cannot project it anymore. So now it's up again. Um, probably on the left side it needs to move down a bit. So I'll select all the sketch lines to cover the whole fretboard and move it down. There you go and now I can safely project all these lines onto the surface. So I go to project to surface. I select the correct plane which is my neck and then I select the correct curves and by selecting it and pressing OK as you can see it is projected on the neck already. Now the actual machining of these frets is a cam process which I will not show you in this video. I hope this was helpful. See you later.